Hi, this is Jamie Lee, independent distributor with Gel Moment Nail Polish. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this really cute fuzzy mitten look um, using the sweater nail technique that a lot of people have been trying out. So to start off, I base coated my nail with one coat of baby cakes with a top coat of Tutti Cutie. Um, and I cured in between each color. And now I'm ready to start the design. So I'm going to take paparazzi on a very thin nail brush. And I'm going to outline the shape of a mitten. So I'm going to start here off to the right hand side. And I'm going to put the thumb in first. So it's just uh, sort of like a U shape. You can see that there. And then I'm going to put the rest of the mitten off to the left hand side of the nail. Like so. Just a couple of lines there. And then I'm going to go straight across to make the top of the mitten. So I use this fine detail brush just to rough in the shape. And I can adjust it as I'd like. And then I'm going to use a slightly bigger brush to fill in the rest of the design of the mid. Okay, time to cure, 45 seconds in the gel moment LED lamp. Okay, so we cured the mitten. Now we're gonna go in with some Lovey Dovey and a liner brush, and we are just going to line the mitten. Just do a little outline, so the lighter you press with your liner brush, the thinner the line of Lovey Dovey will be. I like to go in from both sides here, and just wrap the lovey-dovey around the paparazzi. Just get a nice outline here. And down the right-hand side of the mitten. And just here on the left-hand side, we're just gonna do this little section here. And then we're going to go right across the top. Okay, we're not going to cure this yet because we're going to start putting some of that um, white fuzzy part in. And while it's wet, it's easiest to do that. So add a little more lovey dovey to your brush and then go from this white. Uh, lovey dovey line across the top and start dragging up with short little strokes. And this is going to create that cute white fuzzy area at the cuff of the mitten. So we just keep pulling in different directions. We're going to pull up and we're also going to pull down into the mitten a little bit as well. Just play around with it. Remember, nothing's permanent until you cure. So if your fuzz gets out of control, you can wipe it away and start again. I like it to look pretty fuzzy. So I'm going to do this twice. I will put some of that in. I'm going to cure it for 45 seconds and then I'm going to repeat the white fuzz again. So I'm going to repeat the white I think it just adds a different layer, nice little dimension on the cuff of the mitten. You'll notice I move my brush so that I can pull from the center out, no matter whether I'm going up or down. I want to pull from the center point of the cuff out. Okay, the lighter you touch, the thinner and fluffier your lines will be. That looks cute. And into the 
LED lamp for 45 seconds. Okay, now comes the fun part. We are going to start doing the knitted texture. We're gonna start here on the thumb. So I'm gonna add some paparazzi to my detail brush. And I'm just going to dab some paint. I'm not going to brush it in and make it smooth. I'm gonna leave little bubbles of paint. So I'm gonna put three, one, two, three, going right up the thumb of them in and I want to leave it a little space in between so that they don't run together. That's important when you're doing these textured knits that you leave the polish separate so that it looks like knitted um, fabric. Okay and now we're going to go down to the bottom here and we're going to make little V's. Okay so here's one side of the V Here's the other side of the V, and we're going to do that all the way up the mitten. There's room for about three sets, four sets, depending on how long your nail is. Okay, so we'll make little Vs, but notice they don't touch at the bottom of the V. That's what gives it that knitted texture look. Okay, and I'm going to turn my nail and I'm going to do the same thing over here. So one, two, one. Two. And another set here. One, two. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you do want to try your best to leave the space in between so that it does look like knitted wear. And you're going to repeat this process two to three times depending on how uh, high you want the texture to look. After each section, Put it into your gel moment LED line for 45 seconds. Do a full cure in between so you don't get any bubbles. to add the final details to this nail design. Uh, every mitten needs a mitten string to help hold it onto your little one. So I'm going to add a little string coming up off the top. Um, you can just leave it straight. If you want to add a little more flare, you can create a little loop. I always go down one side and then I drag it this way to make the loop so that my line is a little bit smoother. And then out of the top, I can continue the string wherever I want it to go. And then also, you'd be wearing your mitten when it snows, so you could take a dotter and add a few little dots of snow. I like to use both ends of the dotter flipped around so that I get some different sizes. And if you don't reload your dotting tool, you will end up getting smaller and smaller dots, which I think is fun too have a variety. Okay, so now you cure, final cure, 45 seconds. This part is optional. If you would like to give your uh, nail a little bit of matter effect over the top of the knitted area, I think it gives it more of a look like real, um, like a real mitten. It wouldn't be shiny. It would have a matte look to it. So if you'd like to do that, put a little of matter effect out on your mixing mat and then just place a little bit of it just over the raised areas on the mitten. I think it gives it a nice touch on the final look. Again, um, but leaving the background with the gloss, I think gives it the ability to stand out a little bit. And I kind of like that look, so. Again, this step is totally optional. If you'd like to, you can even add some matter effect to the fluffy part 
other nail just brush it over if you don't hit it all that's okay again some areas where it's shiny and somewhere it's matte gives it a nice effect so give it a final cure 45 seconds in your gel moment led lamp and you will be all set with this nail look and this is your finished product this really cute mitten you can paint another one with the thumb on the other side with a look sort of like this I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial on how to make fuzzy mittens on your nails. This is Jamie Lee, independent distributor with Gel Moment Nail Polish. Have a great day.